All right, welcome back, everybody. It is Central Valley Talk Live just after 3.15. No, yes. 3.16, officially. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, I am Austin Green, coming to you from our Tower District Studios inside the Mike Briggs building. Getting closer to the weekend. And, um, hey, if you are in need of somebody to kind of walk with you, uh, on the road of maybe buying or selling a house. We have just the idea for you joining us live in our Tower District Studios today. This is Lena from London Properties. Hi, Lena. Welcome. Hi. Thank you so much Good for to meet inviting you. me. Nice Absolutely. To meet you. So let's start. I want to highlight your career. Um, how long have you been in the real estate world? I have been in the real estate world uh, just under 14 years. I actually started at London Properties, got my license with London Properties, and actually uh, worked under and was inspired by, maybe you guys know Joe Sharoni, has been in the uh, real estate business forever. He does luxury real estate. I was lucky to be able to learn under him, and then I uh, flew like a bird and went and did my own thing. I uh, broker managed uh, a small agricultural firm for about six and a half years. And then I came back to London Properties because I wanted to really um, focus on residential. Mm. Why do you like real estate? I love real estate and I just can't imagine doing anything else. Mm. It's creative for me. I love design. I also own a staging company. Really? I do. Oh. So it just goes hand in hand. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the staging company. Um, that can be tough. Because, or, it, or maybe it's easy for you. Is it easy for you? Well, because I love it, mm-hmm. it's easy, but my first love is real estate. Okay. So I actually have designers that do the staging for nice. me. So I own the company, I um, warehouse the furniture, so I own the infrastructure. It's called Staging Simplified. Okay. And I have an amazing designer that actually does the staging jobs. Um, I started it just to bring value to my own sellers because I provide staging services for complimentary, whether really? yes, oh, wow. whether they're um, occupied or okay. uh, vacant. Okay. So that's kind of how I started it. But then other agents wanted staging simplified to stage for them, and then I thought, well, it might be a good idea to do that to carry the cost for right. the warehousing, the furniture. And so Staging Simplified has been staging for other agents for about a year and a half now, and it's just grown, and it's just a lot of fun. A lot of work, but it's fun. How important is it to stage a home? Because not every realtor does it. No, and it's, you know, it's a financial undertaking. Mm -hmm. Um, I always recommend that they could share the cost with their seller um, because there is a huge value in it. Now, when houses were flying off the market in one day, you know, um, we were a little slower, but we really specialize in more of the upper market because those houses tend to sit a little longer. Right. And when you have a huge space, maybe it's updated, outdated a little mm-hmm. bit, you want to take the eye from here to there right. um, to create visions in mm-hmm. this big space. Um, that's kind of what we do. So now that the houses are sitting a little bit longer now, yeah. so we're really picking up a lot. This is all recent. Let's talk about the market now. Um, it's like basically the last 30 days, mm-hmm. total change. There has been a change because there's been a change in rates mm-hmm. and all those things. Although prior to 30 days, you know, the rates really went up. They're start like right this week there, um, the government loans are still, you know, in, in the fives now conventionals are six but they man they move every week and so I have three lenders that I really trust to give me market updates mm-hmm. every week because I want to be able to portray that to my um, buyers right or sellers that want to buy sure. again yeah. um, education is huge for me and I do a lot of communication with my clients at all times whether it's emails texts awesome. Um, those kinds of things. You love it, so you do it. Well, I'm full time. If you're yeah. gonna do real estate, right? It's, it's, a, it's you know that's what people think. Oh, it's so easy. You know, the, this is there's been a lot like, of people I mean, to get their licenses the last right, couple then, of years. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then now they're not doing it, right? <laughs> 
the COVID realtor. Right, right. And now COVID's gone. Now those COVID realtors are gone. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, let's look at some staging samples. Yeah, uh, some examples. let's do it. So we'll take it away. Um, I think you brought some pictures, right? I did, okay. I did. So this was one of my listings a couple of months ago that was a 1925 home. Mm. Um, uh, just about uh, Palm and Shields area. And wow, so I, we staged it. So this is the dining room. Okay. You see the prior. Yep. And then you see how, you know, it just opened it wow. up, putting the furniture in there. Yeah. The professional pictures help too. Right. You know, you want to uh, make sure huh? that your realtor is not just snapping with their phone. <laughs> right. You know, I mean, even though even phone cameras are good today, but man, if you have a five thousand dollar camera, that that helps. Right, and it doesn't cost that much more to hire a professional. Right, and know. that so you're taking these. So you've got a professional team. That's taking, correct. Okay. That's wow. correct. Um, mm -hmm. so, uh, so this is the living room. Okay, that's the living room. Okay, and then you see. So that's before. See, it really wow. just opens that room up, yeah. and those colors pop. Yeah, I love that. Is that like a is it a bluish purple couch? No, it's actually a blue. It it's is blue, like okay. A, yeah. I'm half colorblind, so. Oh, okay, yeah, it's definitely not purple. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I own any purple couches, <laughs> but might, might consider it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> At least I'm honest. But yeah, no, that, that I mean, pfft, night and day difference. Yeah. Uh, do we have more pictures? Yes. Okay. And then that is like a little reading nook area. Okay. And then there is the after. We created, it was really just a wasted mm. space um, off of the living room. Mm -hmm. And then we created the little reading nook. So you see the chair and then you yeah. see the ottoman with, we put even little coffee cups. Right. You write a book, yeah. creating a, a mood, you know, right. getting someone um, just vested in yeah. that in that house right right and then in turn i mean honestly that house pended within three days and um yeah we're just getting ready to close escrow now of course you know in es in uh, escrow there's mm -hmm. always right. inspections sure, and sure. you know there were other things that had to be addressed but in that my point is that you know i don't really believe without staging mm -hmm. really at least when someone initially walks in that house and then just kind of like yeah you know, They're like this is could be married mine. to that. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, mm -hmm. th this could be mine if I do a little work and right. all those things. Would you say then this is now turning into a buyer's market? I know that's a hard question, but you know, it, it is kind of a hard question because I mean, it you know, it is a good buyer's market in that mm -hmm. the competition has kind of slowed down. Right. We're not seeing 30, 40, 50,000 over ask. Right you know, 25 offers. Right. I think, I know a lot of my buyers got very frustrated because mm -hmm. it's like they didn't want to make any more offers because, right. I mean, even, and we were tightening up everything and yeah. you did all you could do, give away your firstborn child. Right. You know, it was really <laughs> tough. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely a better time for buyers to buy and rates have come back down in the right. fives, to, right. you know, for now. Right. Um, but then for sellers, it's still a good time to sell. I mean, values are still holding. Still holding, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the houses, some of them can be on the certain price points or on the market longer. Mm -hmm. Okay. But like I said, I put two listings up last week mm -hmm. and... Three days later. They're, they're already pending. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's just pricing it where it needs to be, preparing that property so right. it's clean, it looks great inviting yep 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 creating a you know a the feeling and that's and yeah. yeah so um okay so uh let's see do you have any listings um right now or uh or where can people um see any like of the properties so uh all my properties would be on my website Perfect. at okay. lenafisher.com okay great and uh, you will see all properties that are available. Um, if you're searching for something specific, you could put in your parameters. Okay. And, um, are you now? Do you serve the entire Central Valley? I do. Okay. I have done real estate because I also have the agricultural background too. Right. So right. Um, I've done real estate from Merced mm. all the way down to Kingsburg, all the way around to um, Hanford, Lemoore. Okay. Um, so I do cover. 
a Full big area. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, okay, well, uh, connect with Lena online, lenafisher.com. You have a, a, TV, a TV anchor name, Lena Fisher, tonight at five. It's <laughs> funny. So. Um, anything else? Anything I missed? Anything else you wanted to throw out there before we? You know what? Out? I thank you for inviting me, and I just really want to throw out there that it is very important if you are thinking about selling your home or buying a home, make sure that you interview your uh, professionals to make sure that they have the same thought process as you, and you get along, and they're going to help you, and they know what they're doing. They Does know it, what they're doing. That's critical. They know critical. what they're doing. That's right. I think you know what you're doing. So <laughs> I can tell just the, over the last 10 minutes talking to you. So um, thank you. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Come back anytime, okay? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, and again, and everybody, if you need staging help, connect with Lena on that That's as well. That's right, so, right here. Bye, everybody. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. We'll see you next time. Thank you.